Hello and welcome to the April 2021 edition of the Pembrokeshire Bird Diary. I'm Annie Haycock from the Pembrokeshire Bird Group, here to share some of the highlights of the month. A report of a white-tailed eagle near Aberythi on April the 1st may seem like an April Fool, but it wasn't the only sighting. One had been reported from the Western Clethi in mid-March, and then there was another at Pen Anglis on the 10th of April. Inquiries showed that no local falconers had lost any birds or been flying them in these areas. Although two of the satellite tagged birds from the Isle of Wight introduction project spent the winter in Cornwall, they did not visit Wales. However, another of the Isle of Wight birds did visit North Wales towards the end of the month. Sea eagles are also breeding in Ireland from a reintroduction project there, so it's worth keeping an eye and a camera out for them here. The last accepted record in Pembrokeshire was one seen on Skoma in November 1993. April the 1st was a good day for migrants in general. An alpine swift was seen over Skokholm and then over Skoma on the 1st, and then over Castle Martin the following day. Another one was seen on the 18th near Knowlton. These are the first county record since 2018. The first reed warblers of the season also arrived at the beginning of the month, on the 1st and the 2nd, both of them earlier than the previous earliest date of April the 3rd. The bonanza continued with a grasshopper warbler heard at St David's Head, the second earliest record for the county, as in 1995 there was one on the 26th of March. The first white throat was seen on the 2nd of April, the earliest date in the last three decades at least. According to the 1994 Birds in Pembrokeshire book, they generally arrive between the middle of April and early June, but in some years occur from the 5th of April onwards, with one at Fishguard on the 23rd of March in 1956. The book goes on to say that their passage is dramatic, with thousands passing in a series of waves, particularly noticeable on the islands and headlands. Some diurnal falls are spectacular, such as the estimate of about 500 at Skokom on the 22nd of May 1959. This is further illustrated in the 2019 Skokom Annual Report, which shows the total number of birds recorded on the island each spring and autumn. Those sorts of numbers must have been quite a sight. There was a ring oozel on Skoma on the 3rd of April, and 10 more records during the month. We expect to see two or three ospreys in April. This year the first was on the Tyvee on the 3rd, a bird with a blue colour ring on the left leg. Unfortunately it wasn't possible to read the digits, but could it have been the one that hung around the Gan last September? Three ospreys were seen together on the Eastern Clethi on the 16th, much to the disgust of the local crows. The only Rhineck record was one on Skokom on the 6th and 7th, Spring records are scarce, and this is the first since 2015. Also scarce are little ringed plovers. This was probably the 19th to be recorded on the island, while the 20th bird stopped by at the end of the month. April isn't just about migrants. Skokom also recorded its earliest ever brood of mallard ducklings on the 7th. Great black backed gull, green B160, was ringed as a nestling on Bardsey in 2019. By October that year it was on Skoma and at the Gann. In February 2020 it was spotted in Brittany before returning to Pembrokeshire in October, again at the Gann and also at Newport. And this year it's at Newport again on the 8th of April. It is one of the most well-travelled birds from the gull ringing project on Bardsey, to quote Steve Stansfield, the warden. Three other birds ringed on Bardsey in 2019 also visited Pembrokeshire later that year. The first cuckoo was reported on the 9th, with a few more throughout the rest of the month. Pied flycatchers and redstarts were recorded at Pengethley on the 10th, though this very obliging redstart was photographed on Skokom on the 15th. The first garden warblers were heard in the land shipping area on the 12th. Wimbrel was seen throughout the month, in ones and twos to start with, then increasing to flocks of 50 or more towards the end. The largest flock was 110, feeding adjacent to the coast path northeast of Porthcelly, 
It's the largest single spring count since 140 at Kilpaisen in April 2016, while the highest count ever we know of is 200 plus at White Sands on the 6th of May 2001. I mentioned last month the swallows were only trickling through. This month the bird track reporting rate for both swallow and house martin have been well below historical average. A spell of colder weather with persistent northerly winds noticeably affected the arrival of migrants in mid to late April. The initial arrival of swallow was as expected and may have involved birds that spent the winter in southern Spain, Portugal or northern Africa. Those that spent the winter further south arrived later and were met by the colder weather, forcing them to hold off moving further north. Toby Phelps reports from the Amroth area that he saw only a few migrants at first, though some birds did make it through. More noticeable was a big exodus of the wintering birds offshore. The most obvious were the common scoters. Over a thousand had been present at Telpin at the end of March, but only a few small groups remained by the 8th of April. Ida numbers, however, increased to a peak of 36 off Amroth on the 9th, before dropping off slowly as the month went on. One of Toby's highlights of April was a flock of eight pale-bellied Brent geese flying west through the bay from Amroth on the 9th. And now here is Dave Astins with news from the GAN. It was nice to find green ringed wheat ear B01 on the deer park early in the month paired with an unringed female. This bird was ringed on Skokum in 2018 and has bred on the deer park since then. Also there a nice merlin looking out towards Skoma. Still felt like winter with these two Mediterranean gulls at the GAN on the 10th of April including the Serbian ringed bird Y168 which had been present for several months. We still await further details of this bird. Brent geese were moving through the month, uh, peaking mid-month with 17 birds on the 15th. Light-bellied birds bound for Greenland and Canada, Arctic Canada. Oyster catchers, we see regular ringed birds here at the GAN from the local ringing scheme, but it was nice to pick up two birds that had been ringed elsewhere. Yellow X4 was seen on the 20th of April and stayed into early May, having been ringed in Ireland in 2020. And this bird UY, which turned up on the 29th and was seen the following day by Mike Davey at Kilpaisen in Angle Bay, was ringed in Iceland in 2020 as a chick. Moving birds through the middle of the month included green and wheat ears, um, lots of males, especially with these bright orange underparts and large looking birds, and also included a movement of white wagtails, which was seen throughout Pembrokeshire during the middle part of the month. The later part of the month saw the best movement of wading birds. We were treated to some fine bartail godwits at the GAN, and this was part of a larger movement across the UK during this time. What was even nicer to see were some Icelandic blacktail godwits um, moving through. Odd birds through the month included these two on the 22nd. And in amongst the migrant waders in the second half of the month, this rough, which is unusual here in the spring, was present on the 25th. And Dunlin numbers peaked at 200 on the 27th and 43 birds on the 29th. Dave mentioned a good passage of white wagtails. That's echoed in the Tyvee Ringing Group blog as they had ringed at least 46 this month. If you look closely at the reed buntings around the marsh, there's a good chance of seeing one with colour rings. This is part of a ringing project looking at the survival of adults. Any sightings of colour ringed birds will be appreciated, so please record the colours, which leg they're on and where the bird is. For example, this one would be black over red on the left, seen in the car park. You can report sightings to the Wildlife Trust shop or on the bird sightings blog. Please don't assume that somebody else will have reported it. Daily sightings are useful for this project. Back in 2019, the beast from the east, remember all that cold weather? Seemingly wiped out the Chetty's Warbler population on the Tyvee marshes. No breeding was recorded there in 2020, and the six birds ringed in autumn were thought to be on passage. So it was great to catch four new birds this spring, 
and to hear them singing night and day. Not everyone is lucky enough to witness dramatic encounters between birds, and even fewer happen to have our camera ready at the time. Nevertheless, Richard Brown managed to catch this buzzard holding on to its rabbit lunch against an attack by a peregrine on Skokom. Lyndon Lomax photographed this newly fledged baby dipper in Fishguard on the 21st. It was still very unsteady on its feet and clearly new to flying. Mrs Dipper was keeping a watchful eye on it, while Mr Dipper seemed in a hurry to want to make more babies. Wood warblers are one of the later migrants to arrive, not expected until the last week of April. The first one this year was on the 29th in Minear Wood. An unexpected arrival on the 26th was a stone curlew at the St David's Airfield Heaths. Ian Bullock found it and sent word out. This is only the eighth record for Pembrokeshire, so it attracted a lot of attention. A number of people saw it over the next few days and watched it feeding and occasionally flying. If it felt threatened, it hunkered down behind vegetation, but sooner or later reappeared. It was last seen on the 29th. The last day of the month on Skokon was gloriously sunny, although it was grey and windy for the rest of us. The bird of the day there was a nightingale. It was caught and ringed, but that didn't stop it spending the day around the cottage garden. Well, that was a reminder of some of the highlights of April. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll look out for the May edition.